So today we're going to check out this Eve door and window sensor. Welcome to this new video. So Eve sent me this door and window sensor for me to review it. But of course, as always, I give my honest opinion. First do the unboxing, then we do the installation in HomeKit, and then we do the installation itself. If you want to skip directly to these chapters, check out the timeline below. So the boxing is always the same style of Eve products. It's now matter compatible, that means that it is also compatible with Google, that's the first. We can see as all door sensors that you have an open and closed state. Privacy is a big deal for Eve, so nothing goes to the cloud, everything sits in your HomeKit environment. And you have an example of Eve at. So let's see what's inside of the box. So you have your home kit code, you have the door sensor itself. You get one battery, a battery cover, and here you have the little magnet. So you have these additional mounting pieces because the magnet has to be level with the door sensor. So it has to be mounted like this. So if you're setup doesn't allow you to put the magnet at that level you can add these additional mounts i guess they show it in the manual as well here you can see and then you have your warranty leaflet so quite simple you just Put the battery inside and add it to HomeKit. As I said, this device is now working with the Matter protocol, but it also has Thread. So you can choose which protocol you use in order to connect it in your setup. So of course this door and window sensor can, as the name says, be used on your windows, on a door. But you can also be a little bit more creative and place it on top of a fridge, for instance. And then with HomeKit, you can set some automations and be alerted by HomeKit if the fridge is left open for some time. I'm going to try a different mod. I'm going to try to install it outside, but the Eve door window isn't waterproof, so I made myself a little modification. So I bought myself this outdoor waterproof junction box. And then I made myself with silicon a little holder. It isn't pretty, but it will be inside of the box, so who cares? And I did this by placing the door and window sensor in a plastic bag, put it as low as I could, and then I filled everything up with silicon. This is what it looks like when it's inside. And we can put the Eve inside. And we can always take it out to replace the battery, but inside the box it will be waterproof. And then we're going to try it with a simple magnet to test if the Eve door works in this way. And now let's add Eve to HomeKit.
So now when we go to the right room, you can see as all sensors, the sensors aren't shown as a tile, but are shown above. Here you can see the door. And now you can see all the details of the door. And you can see that the door is open. When I place this little sensor just in front, there you can see it is closed. And now it's open again. So let's try it with my own magnet, which is waterproof. When I place it in front, you can see it works as well. I noticed that this way around it doesn't work. I have to install it like this. So now let's install this waterproof modification of the eave door in the garden. So I'm going to install the sensor on this door. There it is installed. So really easy, four screws. In this color it is less discreet, but you could always paint the box if you want. I have my plants hanging over on top of it. I just prune them, but normally they hang a little bit more over. And from a distance you can see that it isn't that noticeable at all. I tested it, even when, with the wind, it, the door may wiggle a little bit, but it doesn't detect it as open or closing the door. But when you open the door, I get my notification. So now we can set up some automations if you want to have an alert when the door is opened. When you're at home, not at home, at certain times, it's all up to you to be creative. And you can even link these automations to other devices. So let's say that when I open the door, my spots, like you see over there, will shine or even that it will open my door if it is me. Now I want to create an automation. When the gate opens, my lights in the garden go on, but only when the lights aren't on yet. So I could create an automation right here, but here the automations can take into account the condition of an accessory. So you can define if the accessory is already on or off. So another way would be to go to the shortcuts and create a shortcut. But then you have to go to your home kit Define the status. Here are my lights in the garden. And then you have to define if the lights are on with this if then do this to that. Quite complicated if you aren't used with this kind of shortcuts. Here again, Eve has the best solution. When you go to Eve, it is really straightforward. First, let's create a scenario. And that's when I come home, so it doesn't have any accessory yet. I'll to modify, add an action. Wall lamp activated. And I want my lamps activated. Okay. Oh, okay. Now go back to automation, go to rules, add a rule, and here it is really straightforward. You can first define a trigger. The trigger is this contact sensor. So when it opens, so that's the trigger. Then we go to the conditions. After sunset, you can add an, an extra condition and before sunrise. So it is after sunset, before sunrise. Then I add another condition that is that my lamps in the garden. The conditions are that the lamps in the garden aren't activated. It is after sunset and before sunrise. What I wanted to do is I want to activate this scenario.
And here you have my new automation that triggers my lights in the garden when I open the door, but only at night time. But there's still one thing missing. I also want those lights to shut down automatically. This I can choose within the Eve app, I think. And the way to go around it is to go to the HomeKit app, go to Automation, select the new created automation, and here you can choose when it has to shut down. So take 50 minutes. And there you go. I have my automation all set up. So it's all Eve products. Nice build quality. They really respect your privacy. I love their applications, really easy to use. Much easier to set up automations than within HomeKit itself. It isn't the cheapest door sensor for sure, but you have to know that you don't need a hub for this one. So for 49 euros, you can buy one of these door sensors. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and my modification. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I see you in the very next video. Bye bye.